everybody welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here I'm Emily I love macrame thrifting and of course DIY projects today I have a DIY for you it is two separate Christmas projects first one is salt dough ornaments and I got this recipe and this idea from a blog called domestically blissful I think that's right. We'll link that blog post down below for you guys so you can follow along and read all the instructions. And the second one is an idea that I got from one of my favorite YouTubers, Farmhouse on Boone. And last year, in my, I think it was last year, she did a thrifted sweater Christmas stocking. So I'm doing the same, only mine's gonna be a little bit easier because I'm going to be using hot glue. So, but the idea did come from her. So anyways, that will also be linked down below. If you guys want and you're not already, feel free to follow me on Instagram at emilyfaith22 and don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, let's jump right on into things. This is my sweater that I got thrifting. I got it last year and I never wore it because it is really itchy. So I actually had if you guys follow me on Instagram, I tried to basically make this sweater unitchy. I did this whole process and it didn't work. So instead of basically letting it go to waste, I am going to turn it into hopefully three Christmas stockings. I have a Christmas stocking that I'm gonna use as a base. And basically what I'm gonna do is I unfolded this top part because I wanted to make sure that I could have a stocking that had a fold over part on it. So it's gonna be extra long. And I'm just gonna try and give it like an inch extra all the way around. I'm just gonna cut out both panels and that's my plan. <laughs> What I did next is I took my two pieces and this is the front and back and I basically flipped them over so that they're inside it out. It's like you would sew. So if you guys watch Farmhouse on Boone's tutorial, she does sew it, but I really hate sewing. <laughs> so I figured these probably will be decorative stockings. I don't think I'll actually use them, but it's giving me the look I want, so I'm happy with it. So basically I incited it out and then I'm going to hot glue and I am going to try and like slightly shape it. So you need to put the hot glue how you want the shape to fully be if there's any like odd spots obviously like this is really flat so i'll try and like round it out a bit more right here and also i'm gonna not hot glue at the very top because when i fold it inside out then i'll finish the fold over if that makes sense See, I left this top part because I'm gonna fold it and then I'll hot glue it. We'll see if I can inside it out without ripping the hot glue. I mean, it's just hot glue, so I can just redo it. There we go, spread it all out. Actually, that's, that is pretty cute. Can you see that? That's pretty cute. Now we're going to, I've laid it fully open and we're gonna hot glue these parts down so that when we fold it over, the seam isn't showing. That is so cute. Okay, I cannot believe that worked as good as that did. I am also going to hot glue right on the edge and fold the seam down. Mm -hmm. 
I'm just now going to use the sleeve and cut three little strips and then hot glue them to the top. Like I ended up just cutting a strip because it was too big. So I'm just gonna fold it in half and hot glue it right here. To make this, you're going to need two bowls of some kind, some measuring cups, cookie cutters, salt, flour, and white acrylic paint. The first step is to measure out one cup of flour and put it in a bowl, which will have all of your dry ingredients. And then you're gonna measure out half a cup of salt and mix those two together. I am going to, again, link this blog post down below from Domestically Blissful. Stir those. This is a great time to have some your kids help or whoever. Next, in a wet ingredients bowl, you're gonna have half a cup of water and three fourths a cup of acrylic white paint. I actually didn't have enough paint, but it worked out. Stir those together and then combine the two ingredients. Stir that and then gonna get your hands dirty and form a really nice salt dough ball. <laughs> kind of feels like you're making cookies, only they're not edible. Next, use a roller, which I did not have. So I mean, this is my makeshift roller and you're supposed to use parchment paper, but again, I didn't have that. So roll out some dough really thin and use your cookie cutters to cut out some really cute Christmassy shapes. Then you're going to take a straw and start poking holes in the tops, which is where you're going to hang them from once, um, once they dry. I then placed mine on a cookie sheet where they dried for two days. So they are all dry. It's been about two days. So you just have to flip them over periodically. And the one thing I learned is I should have lined my tray. Star. A star. Yes. I just didn't have any parchment paper, but now some of them have this like brown stain, which is such a bummer. Ma I could paint them white to solve the problem, but I'm not sure how noticeable Die. it will be hanging on a tree anyways. I think some of them are okay. I just picked up this twine and we're going to string them through to make the ornaments. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. As always, you guys can subscribe again for more of my everyday life. You guys can follow me on Instagram at emilyfates 22 I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.